Welcome to episode 5, last episode of our questions and answers based on the nursery and grow out culture of Snab Nose Pompano in Marine Cages Manual, published by the Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center. It is recommended that you read the manual first before answering the questions. See the description below to download the manual. Let's begin. Number 1. How is the feed requirement calculated for the pompano stocks in the marine cages? A. Number of stocks minus mortality times feeding rate times fish mean body weight. B. Number of stocks plus mortality times feeding rate times fish mean body weight divided by 1,000. C. Number of stocks minus mortality times feeding rate times fish mean body weight divided by 1,000. D. Number of stocks times feeding rate times fish mean body weight divided by 1,000. How is the feed requirement calculated for the pompano stocks in the marine cages? Letter C. The difference between number of stocks and mortality multiplied by feeding rate, multiplied by fish mean body weight, and divided by 1,000. Number two. How should feedstocks be stored to prevent spoilage and extend their shelf life? A. In a cool, dry storage facility. B. In a humid environment to keep them moist. C. In direct sunlight for natural preservation. D. In airtight containers to preserve freshness. How should feedstocks be stored to prevent spoilage and extend their shelf life? A. In a cool and dry storage facility. Number 3. How can sea lice infestation in pompano stocks be remedied during the breed stock phase? A. By subjecting the fish stocks to a fresh water bath. B. By using chemical treatments in the water. C. By transferring the fish to a different location. D by reducing the feeding rate. How can sea lice infestation in pompano stocks be remedied during the breed stock phase? A, by subjecting the fish stocks to a fresh water bath. Number four, what is the recommended ice to fish ratio during fish harvest in the marine cages? A, one is to one by volume. B, 2 is to 1 by volume. C, 1 is to 1 by weight. D, 2 is to 1 by weight. What is the recommended ice to fish ratio during fish harvest in the marine cages? C, 1 is to 1 by weight. Number 5. What is the purpose of calculating fish performance parameters after every harvest in cage aquaculture production? A. To determine the total number of fish harvested. B. To assess the overall health of the fish stocks. C. To evaluate the effectiveness of feed management. D. To monitor water quality in the cages. What is the purpose of calculating fish performance parameters after every harvest in cage aquaculture production? C. To evaluate the effectiveness of feed management. Number 6. How is weight gain percentage calculated for the fish stocks after harvest? A. The difference between final weight and initial weight multiplied by 100. B. The difference between final weight and initial weight 
divided by initial weight multiplied by 100. C. The quotient of final weight and initial weight multiplied by 100. D. The quotient of final weight and initial weight minus 1 multiplied by 100. How is weight gain percentage calculated for the fish stocks after harvest? B. The difference between final weight and initial weight divided by initial weight times 100. Number 7. What is the formula for calculating the specific growth rate of the fish stocks after harvest? A. Final weight minus initial weight times 100. B. Final weight minus initial weight divided by initial weight times 100. C. The natural log of final weight minus the natu natural log of initial weight divided by number of days times 100. D. Final weight divided by initial weight minus 1 times 100. What is the formula for calculating the specific growth rate of the fish stocks after harvest? C. The natural log of final weight minus the natural log of initial weight divided by number of days times 100. Number 8. What is the formula for calculating the survival rate of the fish stocks after harvest? A. Final stocks minus initial stocks times 100. B. Final stocks minus initial stocks divided by initial stocks times 100. C. Final stocks divided by initial stocks times 100. D. Final stocks divided by initial stocks minus 1 times 100. What is the formula for calculating the survival rate of the fish stocks after harvest? B. Final stocks minus initial stocks divided by initial stocks times 100. Which parameter helps to assess the efficiency of feed utilization by the fish stocks after harvest? A. Weight gain. B. Specific growth rate. C. Feed conversion ratio. D. Survival rate. Which parameter helps to assess the efficiency of feed utilization by the fish stocks after harvest? C. Feed conversion ratio. Number 10. What data is required to calculate the specific growth rate of the fish stocks after harvest? A. Final and initial standard length of the fish stocks. B. Final and initial weights of the fish stocks. C. Number of days between final and initial measurements. D. Total feed intake and final biomass. What data is required to calculate the specific growth rate of the fish stocks after harvest? B. Final and initial weights of the fish stocks. Number 11. The initial weight of pampano fingerlings in a cage is 45 grams. After 6 months, the average weight of the fish in the cage is 120 grams. Calculate the weight gain percentage. A. 
A. 30% B. 55% C. 166 and 67% D. 266 and 67% the initial weight of pompano fingerlings in a cage is 45 grams. After 6 months, the average weight of the fish in the cage is 120 grams. Calculate the weight gain percentage. C. 166 and 67%. Number 12. A fish farmer has a cage with pompano fingerlings. The initial biomass of the fingerlings in the cage is 6 kilograms. And after 3 months, the final biomass of the fish is 35 kilograms. If the feed conversion ratio or FCR is 0 0.85, what is the approximate total feed intake during the 3-month period? A. 5 kilograms. B. 15 kilograms. C. 24 and 65 kilograms. D. 30 kilograms. A fish farmer has a cage with pompano fingerlings. The initial biomass of the fingerlings in the cage is 6 kilograms, and after 3 months, the final biomass of the fish is 35 kilograms. If the feed conversion ratio FCR is 0 0.85. What is the approximate total feed intake during the three-month period? C. 24.65 kilograms. Number 13. The initial weight of the fingerlings is 40 grams. After six months, the average weight of the fish in the cage is 350 grams. Calculate the specific growth rate of the pompano fingerlings during the six-month period. A. 36.15 B. 1.250 C. 1.205 D. 0 0.36 The initial weight of the fingerlings is 40 grams. After 6 months, the average weight of the fish in the cage is 350 grams. Calculate the specific growth rate of the pompano fingerlings during the 6-month period. C. 1.205